The decrease technique I'm going to show you next is the SK2PO, which is also left leaning, just like the SKPO. The SKPO is, as I said before, paired with the K2 tog technique, which is right sloping. But this one I'm going to show you now is the SK2PO and is a double decrease. There can be therefore can be paired with the double decrease K3 tog. To do the SK2PO, what you do is first you do the S part, which is just the slip stitch knit wise. So you go to knit the first stitch, but instead of knitting, you just slip it off onto the right needle. So now you've got one slip stitch here. Then is the K2 bit of the SK2PO. So instead of just knitting one, knit stitch, you go up and under both of the two top stitches, you go up and under the top two stitches, like so. I'll do that again. So instead of going up through the top stitch, you go through up through both the top stitches and you knit those two together. and pull that off like that. So now on the right hand needle you will have one slip stitch and one knit two together stitch. You've got to lift this slip stitch over the knit two together stitch and off the end of the needle. So you pick the slip stitch off, pull it over the knit two together stitch which you can hold with your thumb and let it go off the needle. And there you've gone from three stitches to one, and therefore it's a double decrease. So that is an SK2PO double decrease, which is left leaning, and can therefore be paired with the right leaning double decrease K3 tug.